Hi Pisces, thank you for viewing Searchlight Tarot. I am doing your general spread. My name is Elena. I am going to get some cards right now for the strongest energies around you. This is good for all placements for the beautiful sign of Pisces. Sun rising, moon, and Venus. Energies can be moved around in some areas. And um, it is general. It just won't resonate with everybody. I always feel like I have specific messages. So let's start going. I did see, first I saw new beginnings. It popped out twice. I pre-shuffle all my cards. I have hope. <laughs> Pisces, I'm feeling something really good here. Strongest energies around the sign of Pisces spirit. Thank you for Pisces current energies thank you what would you like to show me for the sign of Pisces thank you some cards for their strongest energies for the sign of Pisces please this reading is for strongest energies thank you around the sign of Pisces right now this reading is for please spirit anything else Anything else for the sign of Pisces? Okay. Underneath the deck is some obstacles and challenges, and you need more rest and rejuvenation because I feel something is about to have full-on truth. I have the throat chakra. Oh, my gosh. Okay. I was going to stop, and then something said, look. So, obstacles and challenges with rest and rejuvenation. I feel that right now around certain Pisces, you've been through a lot. Some, you've been through something. We all have in September, but I think you've been through something that you had to go around a lot, of op, a lot of obstacles and challenges, and they want you to get regrounded, uh, get more rest, more meditation, rejuvenate yourself, because whatever painful situations you have been in, and this is the card I saw, I have new beginnings. All right. Okay. I'm gonna leave those there, but let's look at material harvest. <laughs> right now around you is I feel you're, you're, if you, I feel like this is something you need to meditate more on about what it is that you truly want. I always go by how I feel by the pictures and it's like the material harvest card is like focusing on what it is that you want while you are rejuvenating yourself, getting more rest. I have love begins, I have light, and I have, please be patient, patience. You guys, this is beautiful. Um, I have the zero new beginnings. I have the ace of love, new love. And it's almost as if right now around you, Pisces, it's the light at the end of your tunnel. I feel it, I feel it, I feel it. And it's beautiful. I'm gonna look a little bit at your recent past. It will bring me to your current, and then I'll be looking at the crossing energies if you've been dealing with someone. And then what is coming in in the next week to two weeks, the energies towards you. Recent past. <laughs> I gotta focus. All right, I'm so sorry. Recent past for the sign of Pisces. Thank you. One shuffle. Show me spirit guides. Recent past for Pisces, what they've been through. Recent past. All right, I just heard, okay. Choose wisely and the next card was temptation. So I just, I saw those cards and I said, okay, I was gonna take them and then stopped, but it's about something around you right now that keeps pulling you in in an unhealthy way. It's something. Two of swords, nine of swords, and choose wisely. Scorpio got the same cards. Recently in the past, it's something that has pushed you into a crossroads that created a lot of nighttime anxiety about all those seven of cups of love. Like, they aren't as wonderful as I think they are. Right now, you're choosing wisely for love to begin. And then with that, you guys, please be patient. Please be patient. All right, I'm gonna put those back in. I do apologize. They just like to give me trailers for my beautiful Pisces. Recent past, just got to get some more energy in here. I can feel it. Recent past spirit, thank you. For Pisces, recent past. Just a little bit about the recent past for the sign of Pisces. Thank you, spirit guides. Recent past for the sign of Pisces. What 
what would you what would you like to show me? Recent past for Pisces. Wow, that's interesting. Okay. Five of swords is under the deck. Four of swords is over to my left. And I have a combat zone. The five of wands is a lot of fire energy. I mean, just things or people you've been dealing with. It was just very combative recently in your past. Or person. But I do have it with the uh, four and five of swords. It's almost like I think feel recently in the past you decided because the four of swords is between the five of wands and the five of swords. It's like, oh, it's just better for me just to get some rest and lay down my heart and my mind. You know, uh, there was something here that I felt no matter what you did, you just felt blocked and withdrew. Because I have the high priestess with justice. Like you knew something recently in your past was all going to play out for everything to be balanced and fair. But you had to be very patient through something. You were listening to your intuition. You said, no, I'm withdrawn. Because I have the Nine of Pentacles and I have one card left rolling into your current energy. The Nine of Pentacles is about you feeling whole. Knowing that there's something in your life that you can master. That you will master. Something that is a card of abundance. I can't even explain the beautiful energy in this card because the last card they gave me is the world. So rolling into your current energies is the world, you guys. And... In your current energies, you have new beginnings. So right now around you, if everything is zero, whatever you've been through recently has come full circle. It was a, 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 a circle of lessons. Things we had to go through to make us grow. And now you're starting new chapters. That's beautiful. Let's look at the crossing. If you are not dealing with anyone, Pisces, Wheel of Fortune, um, there is a timestamp in the description box to move into the incoming. Let's just get going here. Crossing energies, my Pisces. Thank you. One shuffle. Has been dealing with. Thank you, fair guys. Show me the cards I need to see. Oh boy, we got some jumpers today. <laughs> Crossing energies. All right. For the sign of Pisces. Thank you, Spirit Guides. A little bit about the crossing energies that Pisces has been dealing with. Anything you'd like to show me about the crossing energies for Pisces? I need to stop. That was a lot of cards. Did anybody fly? Did I have a flipper? I think I did. Nine of Swords on the bottom. Flippers to me are very big messages. This is why I, I really do look for them. No, I guess it turned back around, huh? Nine of Swords is on the bottom of the deck. This is someone who's had a lot of nighttime anxiety. Oh boy, because they've just been standing their ground about something too much. Seven of Wands, so underneath the deck is very strong energies for me, but that Seven of Wands is a very combative energy about someone fighting for something, and the Nine of Swords is someone who's just been in an energy of nighttime anxiety. Um, it's, it's not a good place to be. Because I have the Fool and the Knight of Cups. So the Fool is about taking a leap of faith. And I feel that someone is hoping that Pisces will come in. Or they took a leap of faith off in a new direction. But let's, let's look. I want to look. I'm not going to guess. Two of Pentacles sideways. Five of Pentacles sideways. Uh, that's a lot of in and out energy, uh, juggling things, their finances, their stability, because they don't want to feel left out in the cold anymore, or they just don't want to be left out in the cold with you anymore. <laughs> the Hermit sideways, big Virgo energy. Love the Hermit. But the Hermit sideways is someone who's starting to see the light and come out of their Hermit mode. Nine of Pentacles. Well, you have the Nine of Pentacles. This is someone who, who is coming out of, of taking a time out to figure things out in their life that they've been very combative with, is what I feel. Five of Swords, Four of Cups, and here comes the Knight of Earth. The Knight of Earth is very slow moving energy, I mean, in that it can take a while 
for this knight to come in with a solid offer, but it will come in because this knight doesn't back down, nor do any of the knights, but this knight is very slow, slow moving. Four of Cups is someone who's been holding back. I feel almost out of combative energy. Like they don't want to give in to something here. And with the Five of Swords is they have a hard time forgetting words that have been spoken. That's all I am looking today. Mm -mm, not looking no more. You know, these energies will shift in two weeks, but this is what they're going through right now. You know, that Knight of Pentacles, it, it wants something solid. Hmm. Slow. And the Hermit Virgo sideways coming out. <laughs> That's okay. Coming out of being slow. But right now in your current energies, I got light. And I have it with new beginning. So... <laughs> That's like um, you have a vision of starting over with something in your life somewhere. All right, let's get some cards though. Okay, let's use these. I do have co-create on the bottom, but I'm just going to do one quick shuffle. Incoming for Pisces. Thank you. Three or four cards of oracles incoming energies thank you for the sign of pisces anything else spirit for pisces thank you i had a feeling there was one more that's why i asked did you feel it oh my gosh you're not gonna believe this card first card on my left is round and round Oh, that energy is something that almost feels like it's been a vicious cycle. Hold on. I have milk and honey. Milk and honey, I feel that something is actually starting to turn from a vicious cycle that's actually going to bring you back into that rainbow. And the rainbow is a energy of hope, faith again, belief of something. I have it with remember to breathe. It's so funny, Scorpio got the same card. It's water signs sometimes, you know, breathe is when we get to this place of starting to feel a little bit of anxiety about something or stress. Just take that deep breath in and let it go. And I have it with mending, meaning that everything in your life is going to be mended. Whether it's just with yourself or things that you've been waiting to change, because the last card they gave you is new life. This is no coincidence. You have new beginnings around you right now. You're starting to feel the light is at that end of the tunnel. And here it comes. Wow. New life with milk and honey. Something's, I feel something that's been a vicious cycle is finally coming around and a closure or new beginning for you. Beautiful, but I'm going to get some cards. Because that's what I like to do. <laughs> Oh, let's use the uh, light series today for you. I have Scorpio underneath the deck, but let me look. That is a card of shedding an old you, shedding that cloak of whatever you were to a new you for your new beginnings, I believe. One shuffle for my beautiful Pisces. Show me about the incoming energies, about their new life. <laughs> Show me the cards I need to see. For my beautiful Pisces. All right. Seven of Swords. That is a card of the things and people that have been deceitful with you, have been trying to do a little trickery with you, you were kind of questioning. It's over. It's done. The world is showing up, meaning that you're about, to, it's all new beginnings, Pisces. All new beginnings. All right, Spirit, I'm sorry. Cards are being a little combative today. They have to line up for me. I do apologize. I'm a certain type of reader. Incoming energies for Pisces. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Incoming energies. Wow, Pisces. Incoming energies. Thank you. There we go. Let's line them up. Incoming energies for my beautiful Pisces. 
What would you like to show me? About the incoming energies for the sign of Pisces. Thank you. Any anything else for the sign of Pisces? I got one. I'm just sticking to my arm here. Oh, Pisces. Who's this? You guys, I have the Six of Wands. It landed between my arm. That is victory. That is the light. That is, there's something here that is coming into fruition for you. I just feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. But you got to move forward with something. That's all I'm going to say. Because the first card that flew to my left, you guys, is Scorpio in reverse death. So this is just telling me there's so much beautiful stuff coming in for you. It's going to create a lot of milk and honey for you. It's going to be new beginnings. But first, we need to shed something. We need to let go of something. Transformation is all about changing something so we can shed a new us that's what they want to say because they want to tell me you're about to receive six of pentacles is a card of you are about to receive and receive big and i have it with the beautiful queen of swords the queen of swords is libra energy but it's about you are about to receive you need to stand up for something with truth honesty integrity and listen to open honest communication Two of Pentacles sideways is a card of juggling, going back and forth, back and forth. I almost feel like you, it's almost like you don't want to hurt somebody, but at the same time, there's something you need to say. And I already have two sixes showing up saying that you will be back in your victory and you will receive. Uh, that's what I feel. Knight of Cups in reverse, Nine of Swords, and I have the King of Wands. King of Wands is the King of Determination. It's Leo energy with a lot of strength and courage and passion and charm and charisma. It's king. Knight of Cups in reverse with the Nine of Swords. It's almost, I feel like this is something that has created any or a lot recently in your past that I just feel you don't want to give love to anymore because I think you're more focused on something about your life and having a victory in it with new beginnings and be determined to have it, get it. And I, I just feel you're in an evaluation mode of what is it that I truly want? You know, that's the queen of open, honest communication, truth, honesty, going back and forth about your stability. I feel they want me to tell you to go after what you want. You have two sixes, six of pentacles, six of wands, victory with you're about to receive. Just something that has left its a little bit of a met, you know skin on you. It, let's get rid of it. Let it go. There's a new you that wants to shine with new beginnings. Could be with a Leo. I don't know. This is what I have for you, but I am going to get a few messages. Just remember, you know, I really just feel that the circle's coming around at you. And it's with a new life. And it's to your milk and honey. And remember to breathe. Whew, that means everything's going to work out just fine. Two cards. For the sign of Pisces. I got to do one good shuffle, Pisces. The big cards. Two messages for my Pisces today, please. Thank you. <laughs> Work. If you can tell Pisces anything about this reading today, what messages do you have for Pisces? I'm going to do one more card. These were the first two that flipped out. I have the King of Ariel and the Page of Michael. The King of Ariel, that's what they want to say to you. Your plans are working out very well professional and financial success using resources wisely. Oh. I know. I kind of feel like this is about being charismatic and determined to get something. Page of Michael. Angel Michael. An exciting new challenge. <laughs> You're about to start some new stuff. You have what it takes to succeed. 
Review contracts or documents very thoroughly. Meaning, just make sure you read over everything. Don't, don't just, because you're, whatever you do, you're going to succeed. The Ace of Ariel. Ace of Ariel is beautiful. It showed up today. It's your lucky day. New resources of, mo of money, time, or support. A change or job and promotion. Change is here, Pisces. And you can't stop it. And this is something I feel you need to shed an old you because a new you is ready to shine. You are ready to shine. This is what I have for you today, Pisces. This was beautiful. Anyway, if you guys enjoyed it and it resonated, please remember to hit the like button. Leave a comment if you like. Subscribe if you're not. Thank you. And thank you to all my beautiful, beautiful Pisces. Thank you for all your love and support, you guys. Truly, I am grateful. And wishing everyone many successful new beginnings and have a beautiful few weeks. Thank you.